Hello. Hello, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Thanks so much for joining us for this International Women's Day special. No worries, thank you for asking. No, not at all. I've been wanting to have you on this for months, I can't even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and I will continue to pester you after this for more. So <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, my name's Tori Cross. I'm a singer-songwriter. Uh, I moved to Liverpool when I was 18 mm -hmm. to study and then I, I sort of met people in the music scene and sort yeah. of went from there and here I am. Wonderful, wonderful. So, but you you said you came to Liverpool in, when you when you were 18. So yeah. Did you go to, to Lipper? No, I didn't. I went to oh. uni off and oh, I okay. studied music there, yeah. Because your, your sound is like a very typical, like, Lipper success, I would Anything? say. Yeah, I would have <laughs> pinned you as Lipper straight away. Oh, how funny. <laughs> okay, so with, let's get down to it. So with incredible, incredible artists such as, like, Solange, uh, the, mm. in, the internet Sid the Kid, uh, Aretha Franklin, Erica Bardu, uh, oh, Janelle Monet with oh my those, gosh. yeah, those perfect, perfect, like, Prince by singles that she dropped the other day. I know. I, I had a brief look. I, I was in the studio with Sam Rolo, and oh, yeah. he was like, right, this Janelle Monet thing's just dropped, and then we had a, yeah. we had a quick listen because he is just obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's an absolute go-to example, I can imagine. So who yeah. who are your go-to female icons in the industry? Personally, mm. um, I love Ella Fitzgerald. Like, yeah. I recently bought a record player. Actually, my grandparents gave me that old one. Oh, yeah. And I, I went out and I bought Ella Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. Billie Holiday. Yeah. Um... Nina Simone, yes, and so yes. I just had them, and yeah, I like the old soul artists yeah. really inspire me. Yeah, I mean, obviously, people like Solange, like you mentioned, and mm -hmm. Beyonce, obviously, <laughs> yeah, like Slay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. So, what what would you say nowadays? What do you think is the biggest issue facing women in the music industry today? I think it's mainly in inequality mm -hmm. and I think I think what it is is that maybe women aren't seeing people that they can approach yeah. easily yeah. because of that fact yeah. and really they shouldn't feel that way mm. but it's just making it more available and Definitely. more people at the top for them to look up to and to contact as well. Yeah. Yeah, it'd make everything more accessible. Yeah. Mm. Do you think it would be as easy to be in an all-female band as opposed uh -huh. to a female-fronted band or a male band? Like, do, do you think there are different challenges that come in with being... Say, say if you were in a band that was all-female, do you, do you think... Yeah, I don't know, because, like, part of me thinks you're an all-female band and it's mm -hmm. sort of a niche, yeah. so people sort of, like, latch on to that. Yeah. And I, f I do feel like if you're an all-male band, it's sort of saturated. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, that's a, so, yeah, personally, I would say, depending on how your marketing is, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, it shouldn't be so niche to have an all-female band. Mm, uh, you know, exactly. There, there should be way more. There's um, a great band in Chester, actually, called Penis. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, yeah. They're they're an all female band and they're they're fantastic. But cool. you really, I'll check you, them you, out. yeah, you don't see enough of it. You don't see enough no. of it. Um, so how do you feel? Um, women are represented in in music and and in pop culture. I think it tends to be highly about the image. Yeah. You know, and that's the focus. Yeah. And I feel like men sort of seem to be able to it it's just about the music you know yeah, yeah and it that's... doesn't feel that way like i listen to a lot of great producers mm -hmm. and they they do their own music but they're not so much like artists and yeah. you don't really see that in that's in true. female i yeah. don't really know any 
female producers, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot more of, like, you know, even photos or videos, it's a lot more of that sort of, like, sexual... Like yeah. Sexualization, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, did your family... You mentioned your family earlier. Did they play, like, a huge role in your music taste then? Um, yeah. So, so I ish play the guitar I would not say I'm a guitarist because <laughs> I picked it up when I came to uni in first year and I haven't had yeah. lessons it's just yeah. for ease um, but my aunt gave me my guitar okay. so that's sort of why I started writing a lot more yeah. and my uncle is a reggae artist he's a singer and he's oh, a DJ amazing yeah so I love it when we get together because We'll just talk all things music and black. Like, have you heard this? Have you heard this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, So what was, did, like, did your parents ever buy you any records when you were a kid? Like, any tapes or anything? No, I never had a record player. Mm -hmm. um, my parents bought me Spice Girls, like, Amazing. for my first CD, and that was Boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. I had, like, I remember having, like, some plaque or something from Camden Market when I was a kid oh, yeah. that said like number one Spice Girls fan oh Love my it. god I'm just gonna go to like the reunion tour if they do one just for yeah, the sake oh of like gosh, six year old so. me I dressed up in um I, when I was at college yeah. uh, as one of the modules we had yeah. to well, I don't know what it was specifically, but me and my friends dressed up as the Spice Girls, so I was Scary Spice. Oh my God. And we did Wannabe. It was the best oh thing my ever. God. <laughs> oh my God. You have to do like another rendition of that. That would be yeah, amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, on your journey so far, what's, what's been the biggest struggle for you as a female artist, if any? Um, I think it's just that. Like, Everyone really that I meet in the mm -hmm. scene is male. Yeah. And so, I don't know, it, it shouldn't be intimidating, but it yeah. is, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'd say that's, that's what it is really, but you just have to push yourself to yeah. step out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. and I think that's just the major thing, really. Yeah, yeah, and take everything into your own hands. Yeah, exactly. Own it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, and of course, you know, we can't forget about, you know, like the women who, say, organise tours, manage bands and so mm -hmm. on. Do you, yeah. do you think, like, the current landscape is improving to women? Have you worked with many, well, you haven't, uh, I don't think, uh, worked with many females in, say, like, production or collaboration. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's bound to improve soon or what? what yeah, think? I think it is, you know, because people are speaking out about mm. the equality, inequality. Yeah. in the yeah. industry and I think like there's women out there who really do want to who really do want to succeed and there's organizations out there that want and there's men yeah. out there who really want women to succeed yeah. you know they yeah. really do so um I'm working with this director at the moment called Eleanor uh -huh. and um so the song that I'm performing is uh -huh. called Woman, and yeah. I just wanted to get as many females involved as possible. So uh -huh. I contacted her. She followed me on Instagram. Like, oh, yeah. that's how you meet nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I followed her back, and I'd been watching her for a while. Yeah. And so, yeah, I just messaged her. So, yeah, I think that's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really fun. Yeah, definitely. When, when, so when's that coming out? Is that a video? There's a video in the works being uh -huh. made. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not like 100% sure yet about all that, about like release dates and things like that. But we can look forward to something. It's yeah, something. exactly. Yeah, definitely. It's amazing. And what what is the most important message you want to send out to, to existing or aspiring female musicians for International Women's Day? I just think step outside of your comfort zone and believe in yourself because you can do it. Yeah, yeah. And are there any trade-offs that, that women need to or tend to make in the industry, do you think? And do you think it's worth it? Trade-offs, what do you mean? Yeah, like, say, say for example, you're writing a song or you're in production and you feel like the male point of view is being overheard over, over what you want to do and, you know, you, you make compromises or anything... Um, just, just anything like that, really. 
I just think listen, obviously because you need to listen because you're starting out, but just make mm. sure that your voice is heard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that makes you you, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. You're not someone else's project. Yeah. Yeah. And what advice would you give to your younger self? To my younger self? Mm. Um, I think the same advice I give to anyone. Like, I needed to step outside of my comfort zone more earlier on. Yeah. And just to keep on doing that. Yeah, yeah. And what main change would you like to see for young girls and the next generation of musicians? I just want more female artists that they can look up to yeah. that aren't just like sexualized and yeah. it is about yeah. the music, you know. Yeah. And in the mainstream and in the local scene as well because even yeah. in in just like small towns it is saturated with with males, isn't it? So Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm, definitely. Okay, so finally, what have you got lined up for this year? For this year, I'm sort of taking it as it comes. Mm -hmm. I I don't have much lined up mm -hmm. so far. I'm just like seeing what comes my way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right, so it's been amazing speaking to you. Thank Do you, you. want to, um, thank you. <laughs> Do you <laughs> want to um, introduce your songs? Yeah, this is a unreleased track mm -hmm. um, called Woman. Perfect. I hope you enjoy it. Definitely. Okay, right. I love you and leave you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I, I walk this road alone. Somewhere to call my own. Somewhere to call home. And I. Could get through to me Cause I wanna be lonely I'm a woman mm. oh, I'm fierce but I'm human I'm strong and I'm brave I don't need to be saved Cause I'm a woman You hold on me you said I looked so down last week but what you don't see is that I have the people that know me uh, and they all affect me too no it's not just you and don't you know don't you know don't you know I'm a woman? Mm. Or oh, I'm fierce, but I'm human. I'm strong and I'm brave. I don't need to be safe, cause I'm a woman. Mm. So please remember to hold your hand. Oh